Hi Aries, welcome to your soulmate reading for November. Um, I was burning sage, so if there's like a little residual smoke coming through, it was like really taking over the computer. So hopefully the video and the audio are syncing up and all of the nice clear energy um, <clears throat> is working on it. Uh, quick announcement, um, I did release some more six month forecasts for 2019. Um, just so now I'm actually scheduling through December. So if you want to have your forecast before the end of the year, um, there I there's only a limited amount. I only released just like a small amount of six month 2019 forecasts. There are still some 12 month forecasts as well available, but um, the six months went really really fast. So um, I gave it another go, but once these are gone, these are gone. So if you want your forecast for 2019, for personal forecast for 2019, description box, go to my website and get it there. Um, anything else? I don't think so. So Aries, this is your soulmate reading. We look into your soulmate's energy. So we look into what's going on in your soulmate's headspace for November, heart space, environment, and the energy between the two of you. And if you would like to get the extended where I clarify each position with tarot, because this version I will just do the oracle cards, um, the description box below has two links. You can get it on Vimeo or you can go directly to my website and have a private YouTube link sent to you for the extended. So let's see what's going on in Aries Soulmate Headspace for November. Aries Soulmate Headspace. <clears throat> we have spread your wings. So this is the two of wands. So they have choices to make. They have decisions to make. I feel like they're really looking at future aspects, things that they want to do in life, things where they want to go. Maybe they have choices and decisions in your relationship to make. Um, but this is the time. It's like they're kind of like at a fork in the road. They have two paths they could take at this moment. And um, they really, it, it's like the universe is saying it's time for you to make a decision. You can't stand here forever. Um, and I do feel like if you look at this card, it's called spread your wings. Like she's ready to go, you know. So I do feel like they're ready to make a decision, getting ready to make a decision. So, in you in Aries Soulmates Heart Space for November. Cards are being stubborn. All right. Okay. So, in your Soulmates Heart Space, we have Sadness and Isolation, which is the Three of Swords. So, the reason why... They need to make decisions is because of some heartbreak in their life, whether that's happening now, whether that's between the two of you, or um, whether that is happening somewhere else in their life. But um, this is why they're at a crossroads, because they don't want to be in the Three of Swords anymore. And I always say with the Three of Swords that we can, like, we can heal the pain of, like, the actual physical pain of a heart. Because, like, when you have a broken heart, there are actually pieces of your heart muscle that will be damaged um, because, I mean, it is actually like a physical reaction when you have a broken heart. Um, the thing that lingers, that the reason why you break your heart over and over and over again are the swords, the memories, the thoughts, because swords are thoughts, right? So with the three of swords, thinking about memories or constantly like, you know, why, are, why do things have to be the way they are? Why can't we just, you know... Why can't I just be in a better place? Things like that will break their heart over and over and over again. So it's time for them to get out of that position of that broken heart. It's time for them to move forward in a way where they're not thinking back on memories or thinking back on past situations that are really hard. So that's why they're in that two of wands space in their head because they don't want to be, they don't want to have a broken heart anymore. They need to make a decision to move away from that, right? So in your soulmate's environment, Aries soulmate environment for November. Feeling alone. Okay, so this is why. This is the five of pentacles in the traditional tarot. It's called feeling alone here. They're, they have a sense, they have a lack mentality. And um, the five of pentacles often represents um, feeling left out in the cold, 
Like, they feel like they've been left behind in some way. And so that's why they've got this broken heart. That's why they need to change directions. That's why they need to make a decision to take. It's like what, and it could be that the decision they need to make is putting them in a sense of heartache and putting them in a sense of feeling alone in their physical world. But it's like they've really isolated themselves and they could have put themselves out and really isolated themselves and kind of brought the broken heart onto themselves, right? So let's see what the energy is between the two of you. Aries and their soulmates. Energy between the two of you. And this can be, you know, I'm not putting a label on this. It's just anybody that you're bringing the energy to for this reading. So the nine of cups is the energy between the two of you, which is called dreams come true in this deck. So amazing. Like you guys have wishes between the two of you, wishes with each other. Um, the Nine of Cups can also talk about overindulgence. So maybe like one of you is overindulging or the other one is overindulging and that's kind of like spilling off onto the other person. But in some way, I feel like this is really fuzzy, sorry. Maybe it's just my old eyes. I can't see anymore. I need to get my glasses. Um, so the nine of cups is really saying like, like you guys have wishes and hopes with any, with each other, but on the other side, it could be overindulgent. So we'll see what this, what the nine of cups between the two of you energy is when I clarify with tarot. Again, if you would like the extended, check the description box below two different ways. You can get on Vimeo or go to my website and get it there. I love you guys. I'll see you for the second half of November. Bye.